Eight signs someone only likes you as a friend. Did you know that psychologists say our brains are hardwired not just to pick up on signs of attraction, but also signals of platonic affection? Isn't that fascinating? But how does this apply to you? How can you tell if you're just a friend in someone's eyes rather than a potential romantic partner? Well, buckle up, because that's exactly what we're delving into today. This knowledge will help you navigate your relationships with clarity and confidence, ensuring that you never misinterpret friendship for romance again. So are you ready to read between the lines and decode those friend zone signs? Let's dive in. Number 8. The Absence of Physical Touch Did you ever consider how a gentle touch could ignite a romantic spark? Interesting, right? Physical touch conveys emotion like affection and desire. Studies even highlight its pivotal role in sparking romantic interest. But before analyzing every interaction, remember everyone expresses interest differently. Some might be more reserved when it comes to physical touch. So a lack of physical touch doesn't immediately dismiss romantic interest. However, if their touch never exceeds friendly boundaries, you might need to consider the just friends scenario. Of course, this isn't a foolproof indicator. They might simply be shy or unsure of how to approach physical contact. The most reliable way to know? An open and honest conversation. Number 7. They don't initiate conversations. Are you usually the one kicking off conversations? Effective communication is the lifeblood of any relationship, romantic or platonic. So it's natural to want to chat up somebody you're interested in. But if you're always the one initiating and the response seems more lukewarm than enthusiastic, it could be a sign that they view you in a friendly light. Do bear in mind, though, not everyone communicates in the same way. Some might be introverted or dealing with personal issues, which can make initiating conversations challenging for them. But if you feel like you're always carrying the conversational load and they don't seem invested in what you're sharing, it hints towards a lack of romantic interest. Number 6. They often discuss their interests in others. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your heart sinks a little, as the person you're interested in is passionately describes someone else they're attracted to? It's a tricky situation, isn't it? On one hand, it's a testament to the level of trust they place in you, allowing them to bear their feelings freely. But let's flip the coin for a second. Experts agree that while friends typically confide in one another, the frequency of such confessions may be telling. Are they continuously discussing their crushes, seeking your guidance in their love life? If this rings a bell, it's likely they view you as a steadfast friend and trusted confidant. In other words, you might be firmly lodged in the friend zone. Number 5. They don't make time for you. It's understandable for busy people to have packed schedules and limited free time. Still, if someone constantly makes excuses for not spending time with you, it could be a sign that they only see you as a friend. Suppose the person you're interested in always seems too busy or distracted to make plans with you. In that case, they may not want to pursue a romantic relationship with you. Let's face it, we're all juggling crazy schedules, but when someone is genuinely interested in you, they'll make time. So if you have been trying to plan a hangout, only to be met with a series of cancellations and reschedulings, you might want to pause and reconsider your position in their life. Do remember, people can be hesitant to make plans due to nerves or genuine busyness. However, if you consistently feel sidelined, we suggest stepping back and assessing if the relationship truly fulfills your needs. Number 4. They don't flirt. Flirting can be a delightful way of signaling romantic interest. But what if the flirtatious vibes seem to flow only one way? If your playful banter or touch isn't reciprocated, it is an indication that they only see you as a friend. While not everyone flirts the same way, a noticeable absence of it may suggest a lack of romantic interest. Number 3. They don't compliment you. We all know that compliments, when sincere, can boost our mood and confidence and often signify a deeper attraction in romantic contexts. But what if these compliments are missing from the person you've got your heart set on? This could potentially signal a platonic view of your relationship. Consider this. You often compliment them, yet they rarely reciprocate. While it's possible they're simply not big on compliments or have other ways of expressing their interest, I think it would be worth reflecting on the dynamics of the relationship. Imagine you've had numerous get-togethers and you've taken time to look your best for each one. However, they don't seem to acknowledge or appreciate your efforts. It might be time to accept that they just might see you as a friend. Number two, they introduce you as just a friend. Have you ever experienced that unexpected gut punch moment when you're introduced as just a friend, even though you were hoping for a bit more? It's quite the jolt back to reality, isn't it? 
this is usually a clear sign that your feelings might not be reciprocated. Let's dive a bit deeper. While it could be they're simply unaware of your feelings or see you as genuinely a friend, it's crucial to note how they introduce you. Are their introductions open-ended, or do they definitely label you as just friends? If the friend tag is constant, they're likely not considering a romantic connection. But remember, clear and open dialogue can clear up many uncertainty. So why not discuss your feelings with them? Take note of their reaction. If the friend introduction persists, and there are no signs of advancing the relationship, it's probably best to respect their position and move forward. Because let's face it, you deserve someone who reciprocates your feelings, don't you? Studies show that open communication and mutual feelings are key to successful relationships, so don't sell yourself short. Number one, they treat you like others. Ever felt like you're no different from others in your crush's circle? Maybe they don't give you any special attention or treat you any differently. It's frustrating, right? Often such behavior suggests they see you as just a friend. If they interact with you in the same way as with everyone else, it's a pretty clear sign that you're in the friend zone. If they're not making an effort to spend one-on-one -on -one time with you, or show particular interest or affections towards you, it may be time to reevaluate. Remember, not everyone will mirror your feelings or perceive them the way you do. As much as it might be tough to digest, respecting their boundaries and moving on if they don't reciprocate your feelings is crucial. This doesn't imply completely cutting them out of your life, but adjusting to your expectations and focusing on finding someone who's on the same page as you can be incredibly liberating. We've reached the end for today, but the journey doesn't stop here. Want to know 11 things that make someone attracted to you? Or how to embody a high-value person? Click either option on screen and let's continue the exploration. Until then, keep questioning, keep the positivity flowing, and remember to embrace your unique self. Till our next encounter.